Hi kids! Today we will learn about the structure of a flower. So let's start. We know all living beings reproduce. That is, all living things give birth to the same kind. Humans reproduce humans. Dogs reproduce dogs. Cats reproduce cats and so on. Similarly, plants too reproduce its own kind. But how? Today, we will be learning how do plants reproduce. There are many ways of reproduction in plants. But most of the plants reproduce through seeds. That is, they produce seeds which when germinated, it produces a new plant. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Let's see how this seed is produced. In most of the plants, flowers produce fruits that contain seeds. But some plants that do produce seeds do not have flowers. Some trees, like pine and fir, do not have flowers. Their seeds are produced in their cones. Now we will learn how do the flowering plants produce seeds? In a flowering plant, seeds are produced by the flowers. So today, we will first learn the structure of a flower, and then we will learn how seeds are produced by a flower. This green color stalk is called pedicel. This green color swollen part attached to the end of the pedicel is receptacle. Now, all other parts of the flower are arranged in four walls. First wall is of sepals. Second wall is of petals. Third wall of male reproductive parts. Fourth wall of female reproductive parts. Let's learn each of them one by one. First wall is of sepals, which are small, soft green leaves that keeps the bud covered. When the bud opens, second wall, which is the most colorful part of the flower, shows up. Petals are very soft and brightly colored. Petals make flowers and look beautiful and attract insects. Third and fourth walls are the reproductive parts of the flower. Third wall consists of male reproductive parts called stamens. Each stamen has two parts, anther and filament. A swollen head is called anther. It consists of numerous very small pollens, which are male reproductive cells. A long stalk called filament. Fourth wall of a flower consists of female reproductive parts called carpel or pistil. Each carpel or pistil consists of three parts, stigma, style, and ovary. On the top, there is a sticky structure called stigma. And this stigma is attached to a long tube-like structure called style. And this style ends in a swollen part called ovary. And this ovary contains the female reproductive cells called ovules. So kids, now let's revise the structure of a flower. This is pedicel, which is a green color stalk. 
then this broader part is a receptacle. And all other parts are arranged in four whorls. First, green sepals. Second, colorful petals. Third, stamen. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Male reproductive part. Fourth, carpal or pistil, which is female reproductive part. Stamen consists of a long stalk called filament and a swollen head called anther. That consists of numerous very small pollens, which are male reproductive cells. Pistil consists of sticky structure called stigma, which is attached to a long tube-like structure called style. And style ends in a swollen part called ovary. And this ovary contains the female reproductive cells called ovules. So kids, we learned about the structure of a flower. And in our next assignment, we will learn how this flower produces seeds, which in turn produces new plants. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.